Hi guys and welcome back to my channel called Determined to Praise. I pray that you guys enjoyed last week's video. I pray that you guys continue to like, share, subscribe to the channel and that you guys just comment um, different ideas or different things that you would like me to talk about. Um, I'm still looking for people to do testimonies because I still think that's an awesome thing to just help encourage one another, to keep strengthening one another. Um, I pray that you guys are having a great day so far. So today I want to talk about um, giving God your all. I think it's such an important thing for us to do it and for us to keep in mind, um, you know, that we do all things for God. Um, and as long as you have that mindset of doing things for God, I feel like you could never go wrong. Um, I feel like, you know, our job is to give God our all, you know, because we love him and we care for him and we want him to know that it's just like when you care about you know your husband or your girlfriend or your fiance you know your children or whoever it is that are in whoever whoever is in your life that you care about when you do things for them you do it out of love you do it out of happiness you do it out of joy when it's their birthday and you want them to feel loved and celebrated you go you know what i'm about to go out and get this and get that they've really been wanting this toy so i'm going to go ahead and get this for them and you spend all your money all your time all your energy trying to make sure you put something together to make sure that they love it and they're happy and that they enjoy it so it's the same thing that we have to do with god we have to take the things and we have to do them and be happy about it be joyful and giving and doing things for god and it can be anything it doesn't have to be anything specific as long as you are doing it for god is going to make a difference and it's going to be great so I feel like the first step whenever you are doing something for God is to be happy about it. And sometimes that's not an easy thing to do. We're not always happy about doing things. But I feel like when you do it with the intention of pleasing God, you win. When you do it with the intention of sticking to God's will and to, and to his purpose on your life, you can't go wrong. Because at the end of the day, if you do things because man said so, um, because you want to please man, because you want people to look at you and go, oh, he's got it together, or she's got it together. You're not going to win that way because eventually you're going to get to a point where man is not going to say good job. They're not going to pat you on the back. They're not going to clap for you. It's going to just be you sitting there and then you're going to be upset and be mad because you're going to be like, I put all this hard work and this effort into this and such and such ain't even care that I did this. Such and such ain't even say thank you. Well, who cares what they have to say because I did it for God. You did it for God. So it doesn't even matter what they have to say, how they feel about it, how they look at you because at the end of the day, you did it for God and God is pleased with you when you do things for him. So I know for me, everything I do, I do it for God everything especially when it comes to doing things in the church i do them because i want to i do them because i'm happy and i'm so thankful for god and for the things he's doing in my life and i want to give back i want him to know like god i appreciate you god i love you god i'm so grateful for what you're doing in my life god i'm so grateful for how you changed me god i'm so grateful for how you blessed me so i want to bless you back i want to give back i want to show you how grateful i am and so my way of doing that is doing different things in my church and helping out where i know things need help at or even making sure i'm staying on top of things at home praying over my children, um, and trying to pour into them what God has poured into me. That's my way of showing appreciation and love. And everybody has a different way of showing their appreciation and their love. But in all things, do it with the intention of pleasing God because God is going to always be pleased with what you do when you're doing it for Him, when you're doing it out of the right heart so you can't fail. You don't got to worry about disappointing someone or somebody talking about you. And even if they do... I didn't do it for you, so I don't even care about what you have to say. Like, what you're saying isn't bothering me because my intention wasn't to please you in the first place. My intention was to please God, and I know he's pleased with what I did. So, I wrote down um, a couple of different Bible scriptures. The first one is Colossians 3, chapter 24. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. I feel like that's there we go it's important work willingly for the lord like i said just like you work willingly for everything else we work hard for our jobs we work hard for school and we work hard for our kids we work hard for so many things that don't even love us back not saying our kids don't love us back but there's so many things that we give our all to so many people 
excuse me, we give our all to that don't even love us back or don't even appreciate it. Why not give your all to the one that created you, the one that loves you, the one that cares for you, the one that's taking care of you, the one that's blessing you? Why not give your all to him? That's the only thing he asks for is for us to do all things unto him. It's not a hard thing to do. It's whatever you can do, whatever it is that you can give. If your way of giving is cooking food, hey, I cooked food for a neighbor. I know that they're working, they're super busy and that they don't have that time they used to have to cook and I, I cook food for a neighbor. Or you know what? I, I drove past a couple a couple homeless people and I decided to stop and give them money. You know what? I stopped and give them a sweater because it was cold outside or you know what? I prayed for a couple of people today that crossed my mind on today. It doesn't have to be anything super crazy. It's whatever is in your heart, whatever it is that you can give. But give it and be happy about it. Be willingly. Give it your all. Whatever that thing is that you got, whatever your gift is, that talent that you have that you can use, give it to God and be happy about it. Because, I mean, think about it. If somebody gave you a gift or somebody gave you something and you weren't, they weren't happy about it, would you even want it? You wouldn't even want it. If somebody said, here, it's your birthday. This here, this all I got, take it. And they throw it at you. You know, like, look, I don't even want this. You want to be happy about giving me the gift? I want you to be happy about giving me something. I want you to be joyful about giving me something. I want you to give me something because you wanted to give it to me. Because you were happy. Because you loved me enough and you wanted to do that. Nobody wants to be given the gift out of, eh, I, I felt forced to do it. So here, or if I don't do it, they're going to look at me funny because everybody else got you something and I didn't. Nobody wants that. Who wants that gift? I don't. If I get a gift from somebody, I want you to be happy. I want me to, I want to cross your mind and for you to think, oh, it's a Naja's birthday or, you know, it, it ain't even a Naja's birthday. I just was thinking about her today. So let me go ahead and get her, get her a flower and a card to just say, hey, I love you. I was thinking about you today. It doesn't matter what it is, whatever that is, you're going to appreciate the fact that they thought about you and the fact that they cared enough to stop what they was doing and to go get you something and bring it to you. It doesn't matter how big or small the gift is. The point is that they thought about you and they, and they cared and they loved you enough to show you some type of appreciation. It's the same thing with God. He doesn't want you to be out here forcing yourself to do things. He wants you to have a, a happy, joyful relationship with him, knowing that he loves you and you love him and you appreciate him for what he does. And that's what you're doing. You're giving it back. So it's not a hard thing to do. Sometimes I feel like we just got to change our mindsets and how we think about things. Um, the second scripture I wrote down is, so my dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord. You know that your work in the Lord is never wasted. That's first. First Corinthians 15, 8, give yourself fully in the Lord and know that nothing you're doing is wasted. You don't waste time when you do things for God. It's not in vain. It's not irrelevant. It matters. Everything you do for God is important. I don't care how big or small it is. Every little thing makes a difference and every little thing pleases God. So, Whatever that little thing that you can do is, like I said, whether it's praying, whether it's cooking, whether it's cleaning up something that you've seen, it doesn't matter what it is. Every little thing that you do matters. Every little piece is important. So don't ever get tired or, or, or quit because you feel like I've been doing this and I've been doing the right thing for years and I've been doing a good thing for years and no one else cares that I'm sitting here doing it. Guess who cares? God does. God cares and God sees your faithfulness. He sees you pushing and you striving and you, and you trying to keep going regardless of what's going on around you and what's happening around you god is still pleased with the fact that you're moving still it doesn't matter we got to get out of the mindset of worrying about what everybody else is doing and how everyone else is thinking and what it doesn't matter i don't care if, if out of out of 50 people you're the only one that cares enough to do something then you do something you do something who cares if you're going to do it by yourself who cares if you're alone and people are making fun of you you doing it for god you're doing it for god you have a bigger purpose there's something bigger behind what you're doing and i feel like we lose track of that because a lot of times we get in our feelings and we get mad about something somebody did or something somebody said and now we're oh no i'm gonna be petty and i'm gonna just not do it or i'm gonna just do this and i'm gonna just do that and at the end of the day you gotta realize that's a bigger picture you know you saying no or doing something out of spite you're not winning a situation you all you're doing is making yourself look all you're doing is making yourself look dumb. And I'm not saying you can't be upset and you can't have your feelings hurt. Absolutely, we're humans. We have every right to be upset about something or to be angry about something when someone does or says something wrong. You have every single right. But the question is, are you going to let that stop you from doing what you have to do? Are you going to let that get in the way of you doing God's will? Are you going to let that get in the way of you doing God's plan? 
you can't let it stop you. You know, you got to say, you know what? I'm not going to let you get me down today. I'm not going to let anything you got to say or do make me upset. I have something to do. I have somewhere to go. God has a plan for me. He needs me to get up and do something. And I have to give him my all. I have to give God my all. I have to get up every day and give God the best version of me. To give him the best me that I can be today. I have to do that. I can't I can't let what you got to say get in my way. Like, I can't do it. You got to keep going. Um, And the last one I have is Galatians 5.13. My friends, you were chosen to be free. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do anything you want. Use it as use it as an opportunity to serve others with love. God gave us a choice, you know. We we have a choice, a decision to make daily whether we're going to do the right thing or do the wrong thing, whether we're going to do God's will or do our will. He gave us a choice. We're not forced to do anything that we don't want to do. But the question is, with that freedom, what choice are you going to choose to make? Are you going to choose to continue to let your flesh make decisions for you and keep doing things because you want to, keep doing things because you feel like it? Or are you going to get up and go, you know what, I'm really not in the mood to do this today. I'm, I'm not in the mood to be nice to anybody today, but I know God needs me to do it. See, there's some things in me I need to work on. And so I got to get up today. And even though I don't feel like it, and even though I'm mad at such and such because she said something rude to me, I'm going to get up and I'm going to be nice to her anyway because I know that's what God needs me to do. I know that's God wants me to do. And no, I'm not saying that you have to be a punk. What I'm saying is that sometimes <clears throat> you have to choose your battles. And I feel like at the end of the day, you don't have to be out here proving anything to anybody. I feel like God does that on his own. You don't have to prove nothing to nobody. You don't got to show anybody who you are or what to you. Got to do that. That's not your job. Your job is to just get up and do what God asked you to do. Is ignore people and what they got to say. Sometimes you got to ignore your own feelings and and that's just it. And no, it's not fun. No, it's not easy. No, you're going to want to quit. Absolutely. Listen, there's plenty of things in my life I would have quit had I not been doing it for God. Because the whole point is Him. The whole point is knowing that there's something bigger and better. The whole point is that knowing that someone is in need of me. Even though it may not feel like it, someone is in need of you. Even though you feel like you may not bring enough to the table. I don't do enough. I don't bring enough. I'm not enough. You are. You are. And everything that's in you, everything that you've been through is enough. It can be used, all of it. So come as you are and do all things that you're able to do, all things that you're capable to do, do them for God and give it your all. Don't have to do it because you want anybody to have to do anything for you. No. You want somebody to half clean your house or half cook your food? No. No. So why give God anything that's half? You give him everything you got. And I know you're going to be tired, but God will give you the strength because we have to remember that all things we do are for him. And he's going to give us the strength. He's going to give us the power. He's going to give us the encouragement to continue to push daily to do his will. And that's just it. It ain't nothing that we're doing. It's nothing that we're able to do on our own. It's all things that we're able to do through God. So as long as you get up every day, with the attention of pleasing God and giving God your all and whatever it is that you have to give him, you don't have to worry about anything because he'll do the rest. He'll fulfill the rest. He'll provide the rest. But you have to be willing to get up and push. Get up and go. Get up and move past how you feel. Get up and ignore your own feelings. Get up and ignore people. Ignore friends. Ignore family. Sometimes you got to ignore the people in the church. You got to do what you got to do. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Everybody... They don't always have the right intentions and they don't always say the right things, but you have to be willing to ignore it and do what God calls you to do. You have to be willing to put your feelings to the side and do what God has asked you to do. So the question is, what are you willing to do? The question is, who's more important? The question is, what's more important? How you feel or God's will? That's the question. And so the question for, if the answer to you is your feelings, well then, you know, keep following your feelings. Keep on. It ain't going to get no better. People are going to always have something to say. That That's that's not going to ever change. People are going to always have something to say. And I don't care how many times you get smart with them, cuss them out, whatever it is you think you got to do. It's going to always be somebody else with something to say. So do you continue to give in to your feelings or do you just say, you know what, I make more of that person because God's got something bigger planned for me. I don't got time to argue and listen to what you got to say. I got I got things to do. I got to keep moving. I can't allow you to trip me up. I can't allow you to make me go backwards. I'm going somewhere. I got to keep moving forward. And as I said, it's not an easy thing to do. I get it 100% because we got them days where today is just not a good day. Today I snapped because it, it just wasn't my day today. I tried my best. I'm sorry, Lord. I tried. But just be honest about how you're feeling and keep going because God already knows he's been through it all. Jesus has been through it all. So just continue to push every day to just try to 
move past how you feel and to do what God has called you to do. And do it with everything in you. Do it with everything in you. Don't half do it. Don't side do it. Don't do part of it and just ignore the other half because that's a little too hard. No, you got to do whatever it is that God has asked you to do. And you got to do it smiling, happy. You got to be joyful about it. Be happy. Show him how much you love him and how much you appreciate him. Just like you do everything else when you're happy. You know, do it all out of love. All out of love. Do it all out of the love for God. So, um... I pray that you guys enjoyed this message. I pray that it helps somebody. You know, like I said, it's not an easy thing to do. It's very, very, very hard. But if you look at the big picture of God, then that's what matters. What matters is God. What matters is doing his will. What matters is pleasing him. And if you have those intentions, you can never go wrong. I'm not saying you won't get angry because you will, but you cannot go wrong. As long as you realize God is on my side, God is in my corner, and I'm doing this for him. I'm doing this for him. There's something bigger. There's something better. So keep that in mind as you're pushing and pursuing, keep pushing and pursuing, knowing that there's a bigger plan. There's something bigger out there. It's bigger than how you feel. It's bigger than what you can see. I pray that you guys stay encouraged. Please continue to like, share, subscribe. Please comment. Tell me what you think. If you have any ideas, those of you who would love to share a testimony, you can email me at determined to praise 2022 at gmail.com. Or you can comment on this video. Um, and just please reach out because I would love to share testimonies. So stay encouraged. Keep pushing. Keep pursuing. Keep praying. Keep going. Don't stop. Do not go backwards. You have somewhere to go. You have things to do. And do all things for God with your all. Give God your all. Give him your all. That That's it. So have a great day. Have a best week. And just stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Bye.